Say probably just the second one, but yeah, because Krabby normally doesn't have the highest special attack. Not normally. 
I'm not sure what impish does or whatever my nature is. But anyway, let's go over here real quick. Run into some random. some other Pokemon here on 201, besides the legendary, um, uh, that we found last episode. But, uh, let's just head in here. I'm gonna give it about, let's see, we're at 331. I'm gonna go to about 338, see if we find anything new here. After that, I'll kind of give it up. Or until we get to level, if Crabbon gets to level 8, we'll also... Sweet. 
Thunder Wave, okay. All right, I'm gonna change some moves around, hang on. Let's go here. I'm pretty sure your attack set's better. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So let's put Vice Grip right here, Bubble right here. So now we can paralyze folks. Okay. Yeah, good. good. Alright. And after this, I'll try to remember to use the white blue. Oh yeah, what type is Shirobi? I forgot. Dude, I caught one and I already forgot what type this thing is. Oh wait, what is this?
just trying the ball. Oh my god, I can't believe I almost forgot our ropes again. That was close, that was close. Uh, our last ball. Cracked on that one. Let's try it again. <clears throat> Bell Sprout, that flower Pokemon. It prefers hot and humid and rare things. It is quick at capturing prey with its bites. Ah, psychic water, so kind of like a Starmie or Slowbro. Uh. Hmm. Okay, I got a name for you. We're just gonna combine some names since it is a uh, water and psychic, but it's actually a pretty good type. So you can TM start uh, Bell Sprout some interesting moves. So yeah, Bell Star me. Let's do it like that. Yeah, Bell Star me. That's. And the only reason I'm giving them nicknames like that is so I remember like if I use them. Oh, it's this type, you know. Oh, I shouldn't have done this, but oh well. Lot of data. All right, and we'll go check out the. Pokemon that are in the PC here, and then we'll go get them. the free Pokeballs from Lucas. So. More tutorial stuff. But yeah, randomizers are fun, so I don't really mind too much. Please don't run into a shiny. Yes, okay. I was worried about that, honestly. Okay. Let's see. Do we need to heal? Probably. Yeah, Zapdos is asleep, so... I mean, wi is asleep, so... Alright, we've got a full six now. And then some... Alright. Thanks, Nurse Joy. Alright. So I do want to make another box here. Uh, just right here. Change the wallpaper to... Uh, Volcano. And we're gonna name this the Bad Nature Box. Uh, yeah, box name. Go short. VD nature. So, gotta put Vulpix in here because Adamant is really bad. So. up its name, Flavala. Right, it's flying, as we know. Reckless ones. Powers up moves that have recoil damage. Hmm. Interesting, but yawn is good stuff. Let's take this with us. Okay. What is your ability? Or worn? Oh, right, we did see that. Ooh, this is a... Oh, wait, did it say it... Oh, it determines what moves. I thought this was, um, like, trace. Like, yeah, in a randomizer like this, because it's you don't know what's what, if you find trace, uh, which copies the foe's ability, that's actually a very good ability to have, because, yeah, you can basically scout out, and all, most Pokemon will have, like, two abilities in this game. So with that, you can scout out the best ability, um, for your, um, potential team to have, you know. For example, like, we ran into, uh, Vulpix with color change, but what if Vulpix has another ability? What if it has an ability like, I don't know, like, Volt Absorb? Wouldn't you much rather have that? But you would never know that unless you, you know, use Trace or just, you know, catch, like, 12 Vulpix and have bad luck with the natures. But then the one time you get a good nature, it turns out it has Volt Absorb. Alright, let's, uh, tutorial. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, Lucas. We know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to catch Pokemon. No, I have a full team of six. Plus two in the bank. Uh, oh, can you find Huntail here? Or is this just random? I'm gonna assume you can find Huntail here. How funny 
would it be if this thing's a ghost type? Aw, oh, or steel type. Or rock type, that would have been. What if this kills Chimchar? Okay, no. I mean, it is an evolved Pokemon. Maybe if he had used, like. You know. Water Pulse? Maybe. And it was super effective. is the probably the best well besides freeze it's probably the best status to give up on one if you're trying to catch it. it just seems to make it the most easy so all right see you lucas okay so right now our money is at zero right yeah okay well i think we'll probably battle a few trainers um well actually I haven't even explored right here. So let's explore whatever's right here, where Lucas has been waiting. We don't have the old ride, do we? No, not yet. Let's see what's here, let's see what's here. Before we go to the trainers, we get some more money. Oh, well we know you, we know we can't run away. Luckily we have ice grip, so. All right. Man, shadow tag this early. Oh, 
There's no 
part skill type or something, or part like rock type or something. Man. Oh, good, good. 18 HP for Flava Flav. Alright, we got messed up in that one wild battle, so. Back to healing. Okay, what time we got? Ooh, we probably should end it pretty soon. Let's see here. Go with, uh,. Zero and nine. Okay. All right. And yeah, if the my cell phone cuts off, well, that's the end of this recording session. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know I'm having fun. Uh, randomizers are just so wacky and yeah. you truly never know what you what you're gonna catch.